Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Magic Gamer 74. I am Anthony Gamer, and in today's episode, we're going to discuss great cards from Alliances. Now, Alliances was released in June of 1996. There are 199 cards in the set, and the complete set is worth right around $480. Not a very large set, and not a lot of great cards in it, so overall this is going to be one episode to take care of this expansion. But yet one um, that has some memorable cards in it, and some you probably would like to add to your decks. So before we begin, don't forget to check out the disclaimer in down below. It'll save us both a lot of headaches, especially me, and save me a lot of hate mail from people. So, let's begin right now looking at alliances and we will begin with white and our first card for today is martyrdom this instant cast for one colorless and two white until end of turn target creature you control gains tap zero the next one damage that would be dealt to target creature planeswalker or player this turn is dealt to this creature instead only you may activate this ability nice if you'd like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you 20 cents, and it has not been reprinted. One thing before I continue that kind of annoys me about this set is that there are multiple pictures uh, of the same card, which or different versions, which can be kind of annoying sometimes, honestly. So I'm only going to pick uh, one for each. So, And our next card is a really useful card, and this is Reprisal. This Instant cast for one colorless and one white. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. It can't be regenerated. That's really nice against somebody who likes to throw those huge creatures at you. And there's no other way to stop them except with this really cool card. And the best part about this card, it's really inexpensive. If you like to add it to your white deck, it will only cost you 13 cents. And it's been reprinted a few times. And next up, continuing on with the uh, tradition here on this channel, we have the one one for one, and that is the Royal Herbalist. And I still play with this card, and yes, she is quite cute, but anyway. Her fast effect is tap two, exile the top card of your library, you gain one life. So if you'd like to add this beautiful young lady to your deck, it will only cost you 15 cents, and it was not reprinted. And next we begin blue cards, and this is probably one of the most well-known cards from this set, and that is Arcane Denial. And what does it do? Well, it's an instant that casts for one colorless and one blue. Counter target spell. Its controller may draw up to two cards at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. You draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Nice. If you'd like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you around $3.50, and it's been reprinted several times. Next up, we have another fun card, and that is False Demise. This Enchantment spell casts for two colorless and one blue. Enchant creature. When enchanted creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control. Yep, great card to really anger your opponents, especially with big creatures. If you like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you around 10 cents, and it's been reprinted one time. Next up, we have Force of Will. This is probably the most expensive card in the set, but it's a good one, too, if you would like to pay the price for it, which, you know, I don't recommend. But anyway, this instant casts for three colorless and two blue. You may pay one life and exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Counter target spell. Yeah. If you'd like to add this card to your collection, it's going to cost you a little bit. This card's worth around $68, and it's been reprinted a few times. And our final blue card for today is Latnam's Legacy. It's instant that casts for one colorless and one blue. Shuffle a card from your hand into your library. If you do, draw two cards at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. And if you'd like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you 17 cents, and it was reprinted one time. And now we begin with black, and our first creature today is another 1-1 one, one for 1, and that is Insidious Bookworms. Now, its fast effect are, when Insidious Bookworm dies, you may pay 1 colorless and 1 black. If you do, target player discards a card at random. Nice. And of course, I do have these in my black decks. If you'd like to add this card to your black deck, it will only cost you around 20 cents, and it was only reprinted one time. And our next, and our last 
black card from this set is Saldavi Adnate. Uh, this human cleric uh, casts for one colorless and one black. It's a 1-2. Tap, sacrifice a black or artifact creature. Add an amount of black mana equal to the sacrifice creature's mana value. Pretty cool. If you'd like to add this card to your collection, it will only cost you around 50 cents, and it was not reprinted. And now we begin the color red with yet another 1-1 one, one for 1, and this is Agent of Strom Gold. Now, what's cool about this creature is it's fast effect. Tap one red, add one black. So, pretty useful for in a red and black deck. If you'd like to add this Human Knight to your collection, it will cost you 20 cents, and it was not reprinted. Next up, we have yet another 1-1 one, one for 1, and that is Gorilla Shaman. Uh, its fast effect is uh, 2 uh, tap X, X, one colorless, destroy target non-creature artifact with mana value X. So, yeah, kind of a high casting cost, but, you know, basically it's good just to have a 1-1 one, one creature for one. That's why I listed it. If you'd like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you 30 cents, and it's been reprinted a couple times. And next up we have Pyrotechnics, another very useful card from this set. Uh, this instant casts for four colorless and two red. You may exile a red card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Pyrokinesis, excuse me, not pyrotechnics, pyrokinesis deals four damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures. Nice, huh? If you'd like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you 50 cents, and it's been reprinted a few times. And our last red card today is one of my favorite cards, uh, overall in Magic, and that is Soldier of Fortune. It's another 1-1 one, one for 1, but what I really like about this is its fast effect. Tap 1 red, tap it, target player shuffles their library. And I do use that on myself quite a bit, because for some reason I just have a hard time getting land, especially the last couple times I've played. I don't know what it is. If you'd like to add this very useful card to your collection, it will cost you 20 cents, and it was not reprinted. And now we begin the color green, and not a lot of great cards from this color either, at least in my opinion. And one of them, though, is Gift of the Woods. Uh, this enchantment casts for one green. Whenever enchanted creature blocks or becomes blocked, it gets plus zero, plus three until end of turn, and you gain one life. Nice. Plus, I really like that artwork. Anyway, uh, if you like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you 19 cents, and it was not reprinted. And our next and our last green card for today is the Yavamaya Ants. Now these suckers cast for two colorless and two green. They are a 5-1 with trample and haste, which is nice. However, they do have a cumulative upkeep of two green. Now if you're not familiar with what that means, because like you're a newer player, I'll explain it. At the beginning of your upkeep, put an age counter on this permanent, then sacrifice it unless you pay its upkeep cost for each age counter on it. So yeah, it does keep going up, but you can use it, uh, do some damage, and then, you know, let it go. Um, if you'd like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you 24 cents, and it was reprinted one time. And now we begin our gold cards, and our first one for today is a very interesting card, and that is Limduel's Paladin. This creature casts for two colorless, one black, and one red, and here's its fast effect. Trample which is nice. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may discard a card. If you don't, sacrifice Limduel's Paladin and draw a card. Whenever Limduel's Paladin becomes blocked, it gets plus six, plus three until end of turn. Whenever Limduel Pal Paladin attacks it is and isn't blocked, it assigns no combat damage this turn and defending player loses four life. Pretty cool, huh? Think you're getting a zero three creature, but nope, you aren't. And if you like to add this card to your collection, it will only cost you 22 cents. So grab this card and throw it in a black and red deck. And next up, we have another interesting card, Lord of Tressorhorn. This 10-4, yeah, I said that right, 10-4 legend casts for one colorless, one blue, one black, and one red. When Lord of Tressorhorn enters the battlefield, you lose two life, you sacrifice two creatures, and target opponent draws two cards. And tap one black, regenerate Lord of Tressorhorn. Yeah, I know it's a lot to pay for a creature, but he's a 10-4 that regenerates. Come on, you can do it. If you'd like to add this card to one of your decks or have him as your commander, which I do recommend, it won't cost you too much. This card is worth $4.25, and it was never reprinted. 
Wait, this next card, I don't know what the hell this thing is, and honestly, I don't know if I pronounce it right. It's a Fel de Griff, whatever that is. All right, this legendary creature casts for one colorless, one green, one white, and one blue. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Tap one green. Uh, Fel de Griff, excuse me, gains trample until end of turn. Target opponent creates a 1-1 one, one green hippo creature token. Okay, one white. Fel de Griff. Gains flying until end of turn. Target opponent gains two life. One, tap blue. Return Fell the Griff to its owner's hand. Target opponent may draw a card. Yeah, interesting. If you'd like to add this card to your collection or use it as a commander, it'll cost you a little bit of money. It's currently worth around $10.69, and it was not reprinted. All right, and next up we go to artifacts. And I only found one that I really liked, and that is the Saldivi uh, Sentry. Uh, it's an artifact creature that casts for one. It's a 1-1, one, one, so 1-1 one, one for one. Uh, tap one, choose target opponent. Regenerate Soldavi Sentry. When it regenerates this way, that player may draw a card. Okay. If you'd like to add this card to your collection, it will cost you 16 cents, and it was not reprinted. And finally, we will end with lands. And the next one is a land I like to play with, and that is Balduvian Trading Post. If Balduvian Trading Post would enter the battlefield, sacrifice an untapped mountain instead. If you do, put Balduvian Trading Post onto the battlefield. If you don't, put it into its owner's graveyard. Tap and add one colorless and one red. Tap one, tap it. Balduvian Post deals one damage to target attacking creature. Pretty cool. I'd like to add this card to your deck, and I do recommend it. It will not cost you too much. It's currently worth around $6, and it was not reprinted. And our final card for today is uh, Saldavi Excavations. It's kind of similar to the other one. Uh, if Saldavi Excavations would enter the battlefield, sacrifice an untapped island instead. If you do, put Saldavi Excavations onto the battlefield. If you don't, put it into its owner's graveyard. Tap it, add one colorless and one blue. Nice. Tap one, tap it, scry one. Unlike the last card, however, this one's a little on the expensive side. If you'd like to add it to your blue deck, it will cost you $23, and it was not reprinted. And so that brings this episode to a close. Yeah, I know it was kind of a short one, not a lot of cards, but not a great set in my opinion. It had its moments, but a small set with, you know, some cards, a lot of them I didn't pick because they either had high casting costs or they had some kind of fast effect that I didn't like, so yeah. And so it comes to which set is going to be next, and our next set will be Mirage. Now this is a huge set with a lot of great cards in it, uh, so this one's going to take several episodes probably to get through, and so I hope you stick with it, because this is definitely a set that I really love and play with a lot of cards from this set, and also it has some great collectible cards as well so i hope you'll join me for the next unit with mirage card with great cards from mirage well until next time this is anthony gamer i will see you in the next episode in other fellow planeswalkers i will see you in the arena bye for now